back at it so I had a bit of a change of plan and I'm going to move it that way round instead uh, doesn't cut the garage in half there's still loads of room uh, taking these bottom planks off cut this up I wish I'd taken the time to cut the top bit properly because it loads better now look at that compared to that that's atrocious but because I've gone over here where I was going to attach it to the shelf I can unscrew this top bit move it along a bit cut those same angles on there and then same on that end and it'll be as neat as the bottom which is a lot better um, I've just got to wait for my daughter to come back from town because I need someone to hold that I've got no clamps I've got some G clamps but not big enough to to hold that um, but yeah I think I'm going to go with that way if I um, if I just pop you here for the moment on my uh, not really level bar move my phone put the chair because that would be my one because it's got a back on it I've got to get some bar saws there's still plenty of room obviously everything's a mess at the moment but there's loads of room I mean these these are coming off and we're gonna have some shells in there probably coming out to about there so I can store stuff in but that's a lot better much better I'm much happier with that so I'm gonna I might unscrew that top bit so I can get everything flat and level and cut it so that it's the same as what I've done at the bottom there because that's pretty pretty good <laughs> I'll just I'm not very good at all this carpentry stuff but uh yeah I quite like that so yeah then the trooper map that is covered in rubbish will go that way instead in front of the bar so that'd be pretty cool yeah, yeah it's a lot better I like that bottom bit, I'm quite chuffed with that. I've never done anything like that. Also, what I've, what I've got to do before I screw that on, actually, I want to. I've seen something online about using a blowtorch to pick out the grain in the wood. So I'm going to have a quick go at that. Oh, look at that knot. I wish I'd noticed that. I would have put that on the bottom. A bit late now, isn't it? it looks rustic. <laughs> um, looking at that gap, I've also got to move the carpet out of the way otherwise it's not going to be sitting flat is it right I'll get on with that There's another little job to do sun's out look at that beautiful top so that's a much better fit now everything's level and straight and pretty sturdy I'll try my hand at this as well this is the finish I want this bit's obviously getting covered anyway but I wanted to try it out because down the bottom it's too much of an angle for the blowtorch to stick to but that's that's what I want to do to it and obviously I've got to have it on this because this bit is going to be shown um, so I need to actually uh, make sure that all that is done I've still got to cut these ends so they're level, they're not quite right because I'm mucking about with the angles and stuff but uh, yeah, cut that one off there as well cut that off there, I might put my little army box there I've still got a box, like a line along there or something um, I'll work something out uh, I like making it up as I go along but um, yeah it's alright try and get a good good downward view so plenty of room for me to sit in my little seat and that's going to be quite cool actually a little cupboard here, it's got my stainless screws in at the moment but I might try and uh, find somewhere else for them and I can keep my glasses or whatever in them yeah, I've got to take these tops off because everything's level, these pallets aren't even so I've had to kind of even them up so that one there needs to go flush and that one there 
that one there but no I mean it's pretty sturdy now once I've got uh, this bit coming out to the wall as you can see I've got a wooden beam in there and that is screwed to the wall so when I bring this out further as long as I have a downward piece I can actually screw it to the wall so that then this would all be solid but yeah I'm pretty happy with that pretty happy with that and so I've still got to take these planks out yet um, I'm going to put a shelf well I might take the bottom one out maybe I might leave it in there for strength and put a little shelf just above it and take this one out leave that one in so I've got a smaller shelf and leave that one in for a kind of ledge under the bar I don't think that's very straight mind you uh, it's a thing with pallets I don't exactly make them really really straight um, as soon as you try and take these off they split so um, that ain't going to be usable is it that's the shelf I was going to keep uh, <laughs> if I want to keep any of these for shelves I've got to try and take them out which is which is not going to be brilliant Nice and level. Look at that. Dead central. So, uh, yeah, carriage is still a mess. Crack everywhere. What I'm gonna do with these? This was a this was a box, and I broke the box up because I like the wood, but not the screws out or nails. Sorry, but. Uh, once they're knocked out, that there is going to be how the front of the bar looks, like that. So it's all natural wood. I think that'll look quite cool. Definitely, definitely going to look cool. It's rest a couple on there I know it's going to all fall apart on me in a minute and come down and smack something but I just want to have a little look just to see how it looks I'll probably do with a nail gun because I'm possibly going to uh, make a mess but yeah that's, that's going to look pretty smart like that Right, I'm going to get off and uh, go and do some dinner because I've got a 12 hour shift tonight. Get in there though, this is looking cool. Back up with the woodwork again. Uh, got this one on the inside of the bar. Now this has been outside for a little while so it's a bit discoloured but it's all been covered over anyway. What I've got to do now, because that there sits on the floor, I've got to be careful because I don't want to burn the floor. What I want to do is uh, yeah, stupid thing. Say.
smoky in here. Health and safety should really have a bucket of water or something, which I haven't got. So that's the sort of look I wanted on the bottom, but obviously I've got to make sure it's off the floor. And then that way, when that goes on like that, once they're cut to length and all on there and everything yeah that way the bottom part's all done so we can just start doing the slats on top of it so yeah awesome I think there's a posh name for it some Japanese name not Feng Shui but something sort of similar but now I've got to put that on there. So it goes in. That's going to end up making the framework for this edge. Another bit at the bottom and an upright. And then the upright I can screw to the battens that are on the wall. And then that, all the framework is done. Then I might put the slats on the front maybe. No, actually, because I think I've got to cut some of them out. I don't know if I like where the height of them is. I don't know. If I am... Um, see, it's not big enough for a bottle to go in. So I think if I take the middle one out, I can have a shelf for bottles and stuff. And then that shelf there, I can use as a counter under the bar top. So yeah, take the middle one out, make a shelf on that one. Maybe a smaller shelf on the bottom. Because extra shelves are always handy, aren't they? So yeah, it's all my uh, bits and pieces. One of these. I'm going to start collecting some of these, there's quite a lot of them and they are expensive but I don't think it'll be worth it. Uh, got another little one made in that there. So, yeah, so I'm quite happy I've done that. So let me uh, try and screw that together without knocking the camera over. I seem to have broken my um my actual spirit level as well which is a bit frustrating. So I've got one now. So I need a new screw. should go in fairly okay because I did have it sort of lined up yesterday so up there and screw this one in Saying Scott, oh, thought I could use the same screw, obviously not. It's rubbish then. Some of you uh, professionals are probably laughing your head off at the way I'm doing things, but I don't care. It should go in fairly okay because there's been a screw in here. I had to unscrew it to tip the bar over. Smaller one. 
感じよね。I think I had a smaller screw in there actually. So this is why I don't film it when I'm doing stuff because I always do stuff wrong, and then it makes me look like an idiot. Great. <laughs> To this a little bit later. So, because I pre drilled this. It's all pre drilled so it doesn't split the wood. And then I went and put the wrong size screw in. Awesome. That's that done. So, once that's on there. More solid then. Oh yeah, that's just with that being on. It's a lot more solid. All of the cameras probably wobbly. So now what I need to do is put another cross piece in the bottom. It's nice and dark, and then a upright between them, and then I can screw it to the wall. And then that's this side done. My little cabinet can sit under here. So when I come to do that wood, the only reason I did this one, I want to know, oh yeah, because that's quite splintery, because it's just rough sawn pallet wood. But now, oh, that dirty ass. Now it's not as splintery. Is splintery a word? I don't know. I don't know. But um, it's a lot better now, because I don't want to. It's going to take me forever to sand all these bloody planks down. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping I've got enough gas. I think I have. I think I have. Just one by one. Now I've got about an hour. I like my little routines where I, uh, half past two, I always put my dinner on. And then I can have a chill out for a little bit on the sofa and uh, watch a bit of TV before I go to work. But yeah, definitely tomorrow's. No, no, I'll probably go on to it in a minute. But get that across there. I've got a decent bit of wood there. I've got another long section here. Um, it doesn't matter whether it's new or old because all this is. It's all going to be hidden away. It doesn't matter whether it's new wood or not. But, uh, yeah, I've definitely got to take that one there out. I'm a bit annoyed that that beam in there isn't level. Because I wanted to use that as a shelf. It's quite a bit out. Things with pallet stuff isn't you try and take it out and it's just it's just gonna split. I don't know if I can live with a wonky shelf, look at that, that's ridiculous. But I wanted to use that use that slat as an actual shelf. This is the one I'm keeping. So that's better. I need a tiny bit out, it's right down there, so I don't want to see that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take that slat out, which is most annoying. A bit annoying. Oh well, <sighs> it's what it is, isn't it? Right, get on with some more cutting and screw in, try and get that little corner bit almost completed today uh, 
hacks all that off. Try and lever that on. So they sink the nails in so much as well, it's almost impossible to get anything apart. All I need to do is just pivot that end down a bit and that'd be alright. Right, so I'm going to get some more cut and stuff done. I'm going to try and get that corner done. And then uh, tomorrow I might start getting some of these planks on. Woohoo! That's that all done. You turn the light off. So all in there, ready? And I've just got to screw it to the wall now. Actually, let's move away from the wall a little bit, so that could be fun. I think it's just at the bottom, but I think it's tight yet. Add it like that, and that pull it in. That pull it in. I'll just take them screws out, screw that to the wall first, and then screw it back down on there. Right, that's me done for today. It's dinner time. We'll get something to eat. So that'll all be done tomorrow. And then uh, I'll take this push the shelf out start putting some slats on the front slats slats yeah progress progress we're getting somewhere now probably uh put some extra bracing on the inside of all this well, it might be a bit awkward but no, I don't actually I don't think it needs it there's only maybe this bit so I'll leave that bit over there yeah another successful day of uh, making it up as I go along and not really knowing what I'm doing it's all good fun though isn't it right we go off it's the weekend back on a bit more the framing's all finished it's all secured to the wall everything's all tight start cutting all the bottom up I'm gonna have to um, muck about with this a little bit because of the angles and all that lot nothing's lighting up, lining up even if I might of it so I don't know if I chop that there at an angle that would be nice and nice gappy here even if I do oh yeah it is a bit short but because of the angle drawing up to that if you try and meet them I think this side is sticking out further than that side so when you try and meet them it just goes zigzaggy anyway so what I'll do I've got some thinner wood here I keep standing on that box of nails so I'll just literally frame it so look like that it's all gone all the way up so I'll literally frame it all the way up there um, I need to make sure I'm not bleeding. Uh, oh yeah, I am. Oopsie. Somewhere around there. Yeah, only a little bit. It's fine. <laughs> Just pulling a one of these nails out from the other side, and uh, I slipped with a crowbar and smacked myself in the face with a crowbar. But anyway. So that's, that's how we're going to be looking, like that. I don't know what to do on the front of this, yet. Yeah. Even when it's all, all the way up. Not quite sure what I'm going to do there yet. Everything's a mess here. I need to have a, need to have a bit of a tidy. But, um, yeah, everything's kind of in place. Start to get some bits and pieces up. Got over. I don't do football. But, look at the West Ham scarf. Got that off Etsy, which looks pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's just a case of um, whacking all these panels on the front, and then uh, we can start putting some shelving brackets in wherever I want really whatever height I want I'm going to keep that one that would be a slightly smaller shelf that would do for keep some glasses on or something everyone needs shelving you know there's a storage in it I need some it's a bit 
wobbly there. I don't know how I'm gonna make that a little bit tighter really. Um, so obviously I've got to walk through there. I didn't think of that. That's a little bit wobbly but I can't exactly skirt to the wall can I because I'm not, I'm not gonna walk through. But uh, yeah, it's looking cool. But all this stuff here, all the maiden stuff, or well, some of it, you know, rest is in a drawer. I, I, I might have been spending some money and ordering some new bits. So I'm going to wrap this episode up for now. Get on next time. I check in. I would probably have all this panelled out, um, and then put some stuff, put some shelving in and stuff. Yeah. Getting there now. Uh, might have to have a bit of a tidy. This floor is a mess. It's the only thing when you're working in the same place as your store, and it's just rubbish. Right, so check in, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, and uh, I should be back with a new episode next weekend once I've done some more work. See ya.